everybody how are you today i'm very well thank you so you might be able to hear that it's raining right now and i wasn't going to film i was going to wait until the rain stopped but actually i think it's kind of uh, goes with this video today. It's a very like autumnal themed video. I know we're edging closer to Christmas but I did want to document the season of fall before it left us. <laughs> so um, I kind of liked the sound of the rain on the roof. I hope it doesn't bother you. If it does bother you <laughs> then I'm really sorry. Okay, so now we've got that issue out the way, let's get on <laughs> with today's video. So today I'm going to be doing some journaling in my traveller's notebook and I have added some extra little accessories to my notebook recently and I just think it looks so cute. <laughs> it's got this, uh, this little bear here which they bought out for Christmas and it says have a nice trip and then I also got these two little tags um, which are really cute too and I really like them and then I sort of used this uh, hook to sort of hook them on there. I don't really want them here because um, I've seen from other people's book that it scratches and damages this area and I don't mind a few like scratches and it's going to get worn over time but I just don't like when this hoop makes this horrible sort of ring here so I've put the little bear on there instead and put these on the side and yeah, I just think it's really cute. I really like it. So, today I'm going to be working in this journal, which if you saw in one of my other videos, I decorated the outside of this book and I still really like it. I'm still really happy with the way it turned out. So, yeah, I'm going to be doing my journaling in this book today. So let's open it up to a fresh page and these uh, just kind of help keep the page down <laughs> so it's much easier to work on. Um, so what I wanted to journal today, I'm going to start cutting these out while I talk to you. Recently I went to a place called Ochijuku which is a small town, I'll show you a picture. So this little area was a rest stop for travellers and there were baths and places to eat and these little huts on this, um, in this area. But this is a recreation of what was there at the time. So it says here, Ochijuku of old has been painstakingly recreated based on historical records. The inns that line the dirt road have dark stained timber beans, white plaster walls and thick sloping roofs of thatch and it's actually super beautiful to go to um, and as you can see in the winter too it looks amazing. Um, so anyway, my point being, we went here this year to get our Christmas presents. We thought it would be a good idea to get local handmade gifts for our family this year. I've sent things that were made in Japan before for Christmas, um, but I just thought it would be nice to get everyone's presents this year or try to get as many as possible um, from this little area. And um, it's really, really beautiful. And uh, here's some photographs you can't really see very well, but they're really small and the autumn leaves were out as well, which is just so cute. So um, I have those photographs. And, and then when I came home, I actually wrapped everyone's presents. So I have some of the boxes that I wrapped the presents in. I ha I've cut out the actual <laughs> little illustrations that were on the box. And I have some leaflets as well from Ochijuku. This is a little cafe that they have there, which is really cute. Um, so, you know, after a long day of shopping at Ochijuku, we um, could stop for a coffee. And yeah, I just wanted to document the day. So let's get started. I also have these crayons that I wanted to try. These are called cocktail crayons. I've never seen anything like this before. Um, but as you can see, they're shaped, they're shaped like little triangles. 
So I kind of wanted to use those today and there's several different ways you can colour with them. Um, so I wanted to try it and I wanted to try and make some of these leaves. So this is like a Japanese maple leaf and I'm going to give this a go. It's kind of like this shape. Oh, that one looked good. I've never used these before, so you'll have to like bear with me. But I just, wow. It's the first time I've used them, but yeah, I really like them actually. It's really cool. And I also have this brown one too, so I thought I would use that one too. Oh, it's coming out more purple, but that's okay, that's okay. I think that's the fun about these crayons. They're just kind of actually really fun to use. So autumn leaves in the UK um, are never this brightly colored. I don't think this picture is doing it justice really, but they're just so brightly colored, the leaves, and I was so shocked by how much they stood out that I just had to take a photo. And it just felt like such a lovely day to go and buy presents for the family and the autumn leaves were falling and we had coffee and it just felt like the perfect kind of day and I really wanted to document it. My family are quite understanding that I can only get hold of certain things where I live because I live in the Japanese countryside. It's quite difficult for me to get things if I want to send them home because they you know if I want to get like makeup or anything like that I have to order it online and then I usually order it from like UK sites anyway so <laughs> it's kind of difficult for us to get some gifts but yeah I thought we we did well this year actually and I'm really happy with what I managed to get for everybody um, they ha also had a lot of Kakeshi dolls, uh, which if you don't know, they are traditional Japanese toys. Um, and they're basically just wooden, wooden dolls, but they, they don't have any arms and legs. It's just the body and, um, and then the head and they're very, very cute. And they usually are wearing a kimono or something like that. Um, just like a nice... Uh, traditional Japanese clothing and um, yeah they just look really cute so I managed to get a few of those and I don't want to spoil any gifts for anybody <laughs> that might watch my videos uh, that are my family members so I'm not going to say too much else. <laughs> so the other thing that happens from summer to winter in Japan is the persimmon trees just seem to come out everywhere so as you can see from this photograph, it's very small, I'm so sorry, <laughs> but the persimmon trees are just so vibrant and they have these really bright orange fruit on them. And again, there's there's nothing like that uh, where, where I live in the UK. Um, I, I actually had never tried a persimmon until I came to Japan, which a lot of people uh, didn't understand why why I'd never tried a persimmon. Um, <laughs> but I was like well we just don't have them like maybe you could buy them in the supermarket but they just they don't really grow on our trees um, so you know maybe it's not hot enough for persimmons in uh, well I say that but they they seem to grow in the winter okay the rain's getting really heavy now <laughs> if you haven't noticed so I'm just doing some branches here and I kind of want this whole page just to be filled with persimmons. Um, I love these crayons so far. It's been so long since I've used crayons. But what I like about these is because it has lots of different colours in one crayon, you just kind of get this natural shading and it makes it look like you've put loads of effort into it when you really haven't. <laughs> I really like that. So the other colours I have are blue, green and yellow, but I think for now I could use some yellow. 
maybe around some of these or like in the background I know you can also use it like this to add to add color some green this is very fun for me I'm very therapeutic and basically the reason I wanted to do this today was because I got some new paints and I have put them in the little uh, paint paint pots but they haven't been drying like they're still a little sticky so I oh, see they're still a bit of little sticky so I didn't want to use them until they'd fully dried um, so they're drying at the moment so I wanted to use something different so in fact not being able to use them has been good for me because I've been able to to use these which is really fun I think there's a way that you can like spin it to make a circle but let's just let's just do it like this and I want to add a bit of yellow just to make it a bit more orange because they are so bright orange and they're so cute like the trees and they have so many persimmons on there like you can see from this photo there's just so many on one on one tree so I'm going to try and make this as you know the other thing with using these crayons too is that it kind of it allows you to be a bit freer because there's nothing you can do right if if you get a bit of green in the yellow or so it allows you to be a bit more free with your work and not really worry too much I wouldn't say this was an art piece this is just sort of a background for me to put my um, journaling on in fact I totally forgot to leave room to journal so maybe I can just leave this little space here so I can write something <laughs> I completely forgot how annoying is that so I'm gonna do like a, an overwash kind of thing of the red just so you really get um, a feel of the kind of day that it was and I don't want to really ruin those too much but I do just want to have a like this cute okay how's that looking yeah I quite like it I quite like it so what do I have here so I have I want to cut out this coffee cup because I just think it looks really sweet and we had coffee too while we were there It's quite big actually so maybe not but maybe this cake is good I've actually had this cake before so I'm not completely lying by putting it in I didn't have it on this day but I have had it one time before it's quite a nice relaxing video really isn't it if you think about it so then over here um, to my right, I also had picked out lots of stickers that I thought might be appropriate. So I've got some gold ones there and some different food stickers. And also these foods are very common in Japan as well. And we've got a few hedgehogs. And this is like a summer festival, but they still have like some foods that are popular here. So, oh, and some animals too. So let me think, what do I want to do? So first I think I should stick some photographs down because that's always a good place to start. So let's just start sticking photographs down. And I don't really want to be too precious about this. I just kind of want to stick them wherever they want to go. Um, she says as she fumbles. Yeah, let's put this one up here. So I took pictures of the shops that we actually bought the gifts from because I thought that would be a really nice touch to send to our family. Like, hey, I, we bought you these things and they were from this area. Um, but I totally forgot to include the photographs in with, <laughs> with the parcels. And I sent the parcels off yesterday and the posting is pretty good here in Japan. Oh, I don't really want to stick it over that. 
the post is actually really good here in Japan like it's it's quite cheap for me to send things to England so it was really fun for me to parcel everything up and get it sent off to the family and um, I actually ended up sending nine parcels home which is hilarious for friends and family so <laughs> Yeah, it was really fun for me to do that. I, I really love giving gifts. There's just something so special about it. I'm trying to do this fairly quickly. We have uh, friends coming over later, I believe. So I kind of want to get this done before they arrive. And hopefully this... Uh, these colours give you an idea of the kind of day that we had. It's going to be really hard for me to actually leave this blank because I have so many things that I want to stick on. And I always do this, I do like nice things in the background and then I end up covering them up anyway, so... You know, never mind, I might stick these here. At the moment I'm kind of hating this, but that's okay because I feel like... I feel like it's going to be okay. So I'm going to stick a few of these cakes and things around. Around where I'm going to write. They have so many delicious cakes and foods here. If you've never been to Japan I urge you to come, even if it is just to eat, <laughs> because they have great food. And it's so funny because I never used to like sushi before I came to Japan. I might have already said this. Um, like, I thought it was okay, but I was always put off by the idea that it wasn't cooked. And it wasn't until I came here and it just became a regular thing. Like, whoever I was with, they always wanted sushi, so I was like, okay, I'll go and eat sushi. Um, but I actually really, really like it and I feel kind of fortunate to be able to eat it here because obviously um, living here means I get to eat some of the best sushi in the world, I imagine. And I bet anything I eat afterwards in comparison just won't be as good. <laughs> or in my mind I'll think, oh, well, I had sushi in Japan, so it's <laughs> not... You know, I'll become a sushi snob, which is hilarious to think about, that I just didn't think that at all before. I would never even want to eat sushi. And now I'm like, a sushi snob. But there's still some sushi that I can't uh, stomach as much. Like, I've had octopus before, but I can't really stomach it the thought of the little tentacles on my tongue I don't like <laughs> so anyway I just wanted to say that I hope everyone listening and watching this is okay and I want to sort of inspire you to maybe pick up your notebook in some way um, you know I know it's difficult at the moment to go anywhere and I don't want to keep I don't want to talk about that much I want to kind of make this a positive video but I did just want to say that this area is like really local to me and yeah I know it's beautiful and you know <laughs> I'm very lucky to live here so it's okay for me to say this but I think that you should go out and take some photographs of your local area, whether it's a tree that you really like or a bench that you often sit on, you know, with what view you have, um, or even just, you know, your own garden, I think could be really beautiful. Like I took this really close up picture of these leaves and it's one of my favorite pictures like I've ever taken <laughs> and it's just a picture of leaves. So you know, I just, I kind of just want to encourage you to see the beauty in things and kind of just go out and, you know, you don't have to go far to, to find, 
to find things like this and to have something to write about or something to enjoy so yeah I just wanted to say that because <laughs> I know like you know the way it looks it's like oh it's you know really nice but this was like a compromise for us this year that we couldn't um get our family you know more high-tech I guess or gifts you know so we thought well let's just go traditional you know we, we we're fortunate to live in a place that actually hand make hand makes a lot of items and um let's just let's just go and get some stuff from there and hopefully uh our family will like the things that we picked up some of them might they might think what's that or oh, that's strange <laughs> but again you sort of that's the experience isn't it of um the fact that we live in another country we're quite fortunate to be able to bring some of that experience um or some of those items to our families that they might not ever see or might not ever have seen i have um you know quite a few elderly members of my family and I often send them you know just like little handmade Japanese goods and I think that they they appreciate that a lot because I I don't think that they would ever think that they would they would come and see me while I'm here in Japan um or maybe they don't like flying or something so I get to bring some of that to them um which they always tell me that they enjoy so I hope they do <laughs> but yeah so I just really have learned to appreciate more of the nature here in Japan um it was never something I really noticed that much before living in the UK but they make such a big deal of the the nature here um you know they have a festival in summertime and all their foods and snacks and stuff they kind of theme them depending on the season and depending what food is available um so there is a lot of walnut and what else do they have at the moment like persimmon and a lot of that kind of foods at the moment and then in summer they have like a lot of strawberry stuff and yeah they're just very good at sort of theming um foods to whatever time of year it is so this video is pretty long already um so i'm gonna stick these last few stickers on i really wanted to draw a character actually uh so maybe if i drew a character here i could journal down the side there and i haven't even put a title for this can you believe it so oh by the way this is a kokeshi doll they don't have any uh, arms or legs they're just sort of just the body I think because it's like quite simple to make and um, it's a nice thing for the children to have like a little wooden doll so I'm going to put some of these animal stickers on because this day actually we saw a boar believe it or not we actually saw a boar in the wild and it was it was really cute like I've heard they're very dangerous so we we kept away from it we didn't go any closer to it than we needed to go um, but <laughs> but yeah it was it was quite intimidating to see this boar just like roaming around the rice fields um, but I kind of think it was a baby one because it wasn't that big so I think it was a baby boar Okay, so this video is going to be really long. Oh, just drop that. But hopefully you found it relaxing and you kind of don't mind this sort of slower paced video. Um, I've really enjoyed doing this actually and I really wanted to document this day. So I'm glad that I took the time to sit down and, uh, and do it. That's made me really happy. And hopefully the rain doesn't bother you too much. Okay. Maybe a couple more stickers. You can't have too many stickers. But I want to draw my own Kokeshi dolls. And do a round head. 
and just a straight down body because that's what they tend to be and they usually have these really really cute faces oh let's do like a peach it's so weird as well being restricted to just using kind of crayons today um, but she's really cute huh so maybe like an autumnal kimono so if I if I do this and then this kind of looks like a kimono if you ever have to wear a yukata, if you go to a Japanese onsen or a hotel, just remember this one thing, that your yukata should be worn like this. So what is that? Left over right, folded like this. Because the other way is how they dress for the dead. So they will wear, um, they will wear the yukata the other way. And I always wear my dressing gown the other way. So many, many times I went to a Japanese hotel wearing um, my yukata the wrong way. The way that you dress somebody for a funeral, which is obviously devastating. But nobody said anything to me because obviously they're just too polite and they probably look at me and think, oh, well, it's okay, she doesn't know. Um, so they just let me walk around like that, which is so embarrassing. Um, <laughs> but I went to one traditional Japanese uh, hotel that um, had instructions for in English as well, like how to put the yukata on. And that's when I found out to my devastation that I'd been wearing it wrong the whole time. <laughs> and I didn't think to check because I just didn't think that there would be like a specific way to to wear it um like which way this is folded but obviously I should have known that um because the Japanese are just so um elegant and precise over their clothing and I I sure sort of should have thought about that I think but never mind we live and we learn so Yes, don't worry about that if you've ever done that. I'm sure somebody either would correct you if it is wrong and it's bothering them or they would sort of just say, well, oh well, <laughs> you didn't know. Um, but yukatas are extremely comfortable. Um, it's just like walking around a hotel wearing a dressing gown. And yes, love that. And they're very thin, usually, the ones you wear in the hotel. So if it's hot, they're very relaxing. And um, yeah, it's lovely. I really like them and recommend them. So I'm just gonna do some swirls here to make it look like the leaves are falling. This is my autumnal Kakeshi doll. How sweet. And I'm gonna put some orange circles I'm also going to color this bit orange I wish they had ones like this this is you know like autumnal they had um some more I'd get I guess you'd say if you think of Japan you think of cherry blossom so they had a lot that were kind of cherry blossom inspired um more so oh, I don't want her face to be that pink And they're always like this woody, like stained wood almost. So I sort of want that to be on there. Yeah, she's cute. So I just want to add a bit of shading mainly. And this part just sticks out, which is kind of annoying, but it looks like a shadow, so it's fine, I guess. Maybe I can just do it all the way around. Cute. So, 
think I'm going to draw some more of these or just maybe just colour in this background. I really love this crayon. It gives me so much um, freedom, like I said, it's just really nice and relaxing. I just sort of want these pictures to stand out a little bit so I'm just going to go around them a bit harsher with the crayon so you can see that they're there. Yeah, love these crayons, they're lovely. Now I need a sort of title for this as well. Shopping and autumn leaves or something like that. She's cute, isn't she? Now this doesn't really look like a tree anymore. <laughs> but there you go. I'll just do some circles. You know what they are, you guys watching this. You know that they're persimmon. Persimmons. That seems a little more finished to me with the circles. Now how am I going to draw right on top of wax crayon? I didn't really think about that. Cute. So I also have some little, I've got some bears on here. I think I'll stick some more food around her. Um, and maybe some like some more wintry ones like green tea. Uh, maybe this side and what else is more wintry these are quite wintry these are really warm and chewy and actually I saw a girl eating this exact thing and it was like a cooked um, I don't know, it was crunchy actually, because I thought it was rice, but it was crunchy, so I'm actually not sure what it was. But it smelt amazing. Okay, so I want to see, oh, I do want this on here though. <laughs> Where shall I put it? So I'm going to do some writing on here and then I will be right back. So after putting the black on and all the writing, I felt like I lost this uh, this girl, <laughs> this little Kokeshi doll. So I'm just going to go over her and, and then this video will be finished. So I hope you've enjoyed today's more relaxing videos, video even. Um, as you can probably hear from outside, the rain has stopped, <laughs> which is so typical that I've just finished this video and then the rain's just decided to stop. But never mind. I, uh, I think that it's quite nice to have the rain in the background maybe it made you feel relaxed it definitely made me feel more relaxed um <laughs> maybe that's what you needed today um it is for me for sure so i'm really excited to start doing some more christmasy uh videos and if you have any ideas of something you would like me to do for a christmas style video then let me know um whether it's Christmas cards or Christmas decorations even, I could definitely do that. Um, anything along those lines would be really fun for me, I think. So yeah, just let me know. And I think that's gonna be it for today's video. Um, I've really enjoyed, I really enjoyed doing this. I had fun using these uh, cocktail crayons. This is the name in case you wanted to know. 
Uh, the brand, I don't see. Maybe they, ah, Des Art, maybe. Yeah, but they also had a pastel version of these crayons too. Um, but I really actually really liked these sort of, sort of uh, orangey brownie ones. So anyway, yeah, so that's going to be it from me. I really hope you enjoyed this different style of video for me. I know it's not something that I usually do, um, which is kind of messy and very from the heart. This is something that's very personal to me that happened in my life recently so yeah i hope you enjoyed and i will see you again next sunday with a new video take care guys